Obviously, when it comes to um, helping people to stop smoking, there's effective medication around already. So we, have, we know that the most effective way of helping people to stop smoking is a combination of behavioral therapy and uh, certain forms of either nicotine replacement therapy, which is just pure medicinal nicotine, or other pharmacotherapy, including varenicline, um, or also called Jumpix, which is very effective for people to stop smoking. The thing is that some smokers do not want to um, treat their behavior as too medicalized, so they don't like to be given a medication by a doctor, and those people might actually benefit from using something like an e-cigarette because it's, it's more of a consumer product. Uh, and there's a bit of a culture that's developed around it so people can go to vape shops and try all sorts of different flavors. Um, the reason why there's some reluctance beyond that is I think is because um, there's a lot of uh, information out there in the literature which suggests they're quite harmful. Um, and this is in part to do with the fact that we obviously, within the tobacco control community, a certain sense of trepidation about new products being introduced was this happen has happened in the past uh, where things have not delivered. For instance, light cigarettes, which are considered to be light cigarettes and less harmful, in fact, didn't turn out to be less harmful. Um, and the other thing is that there are some studies that have shown that theoretically, of course, if you use these e-cigarettes incorrectly, you can produce quite high levels of uh, uh, carcinogens, including formaldehyde, um, which is problematic. Except, of course, that uh, we published a study last year which has looked at the exposure and people actually using them, right? Because there's an interaction between the user using a device um, and uh, the, what they get in, as opposed to a machine using the device. And you can crank up a machine to produce all kinds of unpleasant uh, 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 or harmful chemicals using them. And what our study found is, uh, in line with uh, the Public Health England report, is that if you look at one of the most important biomarkers called NNAL, which is a nitrosamine, which is linked to lung cancer in the long run, that there's a reduction, uh, about 95% reduction compared with cigarette smoke. Meaning actually they are probably much safer. Obviously, nothing is perfectly safe, and so e-cigarettes aren't perfectly safe. Uh, for heat nor burn products, um, they are uh, newer, so they only uh, were released about 2014. Um, they're also not as commonly used in the UK. So uh, as an example, in the UK, about 5% now use e-cigarettes. Uh, mostly, most people who use e-cigarettes are actually smokers or past smokers. Um, the levels for heat not burn product use, the other devices I was mentioning, is only 0.1%, so they're uh, much, much lower. Um, but yeah, the evidence suggests that they're actually, e-cigarettes are actually much, um, much safer than cigarettes, and for heat not burn products, the data that we have come mainly from tobacco industry, they also suggest to be uh, exposed people to lower levels of these carcinogens. So they're also likely to be safer, uh, but it's difficult to assess how much safer they are than cigarettes compared with e-cigarettes. Um, I certainly feel that the evidence today to date suggests that e-cigarettes are the safest of these new alternative nicotine replacement or uh, nicotine delivery products.